Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of year again. It is where I book the entirety of WrestleMania 40. I did the same thing last year for WrestleMania 39. I really enjoyed it. I kept my promise. At the end of the last video, I said that I was going to do this again next year. And we are back. So last year was very fun for me to make these type of videos. So yes, I will be fantasy booking WrestleMania 40. Starting off with Night 1, Match 1. Jey Uso or Jimmy Uso in a tribal combat match. With Rikishi being a special guest referee. I kind of wanted to keep that a surprise, but it doesn't really matter. So currently, as of recording, currently Jey Uso is on Raw and Jimmy is on SmackDown. To get both Usos back on the same brand, I'll just have Jimmy be traded back to Raw. And I'll keep Jay on Raw after the Royal Rumble. But right now, Survivor Series is coming up. And if WWE decides to have War Games this year, the match would probably be the Judgment Day versus Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso. So this would probably mean that Jey Uso will be busy at least up until Survivor Series. So to be honest with you, um, after thinking, I don't really know what Jey does after the War Games match. So let's just move on over to Jimmy. So as of recording, Jimmy is trying to get back into the bloodline. He's trying to earn Roman's respect. So this time, Roman Reigns returned a month ago to build up his match with Seth Rollins as Survivor Series champion versus champion um so as survivor series roman wins the match against seth rollins jimmy after survivor series is looking hopeless he has nothing going jimmy aligned himself with solo but he fully lost it and turned heel on jimmy uso so at this point jimmy is all alone and you know roman isn't with him solo isn't with him he's all alone on smackdown he got betrayed basically so now jimmy is still hated and he's still a massive heel don't get me wrong the next week on smackdown roman reigns calls out anyone in the locker room and Jimmy Uso is the one to confront Roman Reigns. At this time Jimmy and Roman haven't really met since Jey Uso kicked um, Jimmy Uso you know when he turned. So now this video is not this video isn't really called Jimmy vs Roman so I'll move through this little storyline quickly. So Jimmy act like he's the victim. Roman doesn't really care. He's you know he's ready to fight Jimmy. So boom bang tang boom blah blah blah. Jimmy Uso as Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns retains. Um, not really a big match. So now this would lead Jimmy Uso to being absolutely furious on on SmackDown because during the build up to the Roman Jimmy match. Jimmy kept saying that he's gonna do what Jey Uso couldn't do and beat Roman Reigns for the world title. But I guess that didn't happen. Um, so Jimmy lost at the Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns retained. So the SmackDown after the Royal Rumble, Jimmy Uso has a backstage promo, especially dedicated for Jey Uso. He tells him that during his feud with Roman, the only thing he learned, he says that during his feud with Roman Reigns, he learned that Jey Uso is still trying to be the bigger guy. He's trying to be the tribal chief on Monday Night Raw and the jealousy builds more and more. Jimmy sees the type of reactions that Jay gets on Raw, like, you know, everyone cheers, they do the little thing, but when I come out, it's just dead quiet, and sometimes I even get booed, like, what, what did I do to deserve this? So let me tell you something, Jay. I've spoken with Pierce, and well, be ready Monday. Jimmy then leaves the scene. This basically means that Jimmy Uso might be coming to Monday Night Raw, who knows. So the next week on Raw, we see Jay Uso in the building. As soon as he gets in the building, he's immediately getting um, interviewed by someone, you know, with a microphone and all that. Um, they ask Jay uh, his thoughts about Jimmy coming to Raw. Jay is furious and he doesn't give he just leaves. He doesn't give the person an answer. So we still have a lot of questions. He storms into the ring and he calls out Jimmy Uso out. Jay yells into the mic and says, Nah, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I made it clear that I don't want you here. I made it clear that you don't belong here. I'm also the guy that made it clear that this is main event Jay Uso show. Ever since I got traded here, life's been great. I don't gotta deal with Roman. I don't gotta deal with Solo. And especially, I don't want to deal with Jimmy. So it all seems like you want to start. So to me, it kind of seems like you want to start something. Now after saying all that, Jey Uso calls out Jimmy again. And he demands Jimmy to confront him man to man. But he gets no answer. We cut to commercial break. Jey Uso is still standing there. Now this segment has gone over 10 minutes. You know, Jey, Jey is just waiting. Taking shots at Jimmy Uso. So Adam Pearce confronts Jey Uso and tells him to leave the ring. Jey makes it clear that he's not leaving until Jimmy Uso confronts him. Adam Pearce tries tries to escort Jay out of the ring, but Jimmy then comes through the crowd. He was there the whole time. He slowly comes down while Jay Uso stares a hole down his face. Jimmy grabs the microphone and gets real close to him 
and says, Us vs. Us. And then he leaves. Jay looks back at Jimmy not knowing what to do, but then that's how the segment ends. So basically, J Jimmy Uso is now trying to challenge Jay Uso to a match. Now the next week on Raw, um, Jay Uso is in a qualifying match for the Elimination Chamber match. So throughout his qualifying match, Jay Uso is kind of worried because now he has to worry about Jimmy and him getting in his way. Jay fears that Jimmy might try to stop him from qualifying. N now this year the men's elimination chamber match is for the number one contendership of Roman Reigns championship and then Jay wins his qualifying match. But the Raw before the elimination chamber match Jay has a message for Jimmy backstage. He warns Jimmy that he should not be anywhere near the elimination chamber match and if he interferes in the match he's gonna get a massive massive whooping so it's the elimination chamber match pay-per-view all that and while and jay is the second person to enter the chamber match the other people in the match is cody rhodes drew mcintyre sheamus bronson reed and bubba lashley everyone has a shot to earn a wrestlemania main event the match starts with jay uso and drew mcintyre who have serious history and then bobby lashley enters the chat he goes straight away for Drew McIntyre. Sheamus then comes in and Bobby Lashley gets distracted by Drew. And then he catches a bro kick right in the face. So Bobby Lashley is now down. Drew and Sheamus go at it but then Cody Rhodes comes out at number 5. And at number 6, Big Bronson Reed explodes through the pod feeling hungry. Then Sheamus is able to land a kick on Bobby Lashley and he eliminates him. While Sheamus is celebrating, he catches a claymore for McIntyre and then he's gone. Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes are the two fan favorites in this match and they have mutual respect for one another. Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes go at it. Jey, Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes team up against Drew and they get him out. Bronson Reed gets eliminated by, and then Bronson Reed gets eliminated by Crossroads, Uso Splash, another Crossroads, and then Jey Uso pins him. Now the only two people left in the ring is Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes. They shake hands and then who and they say whoever wins i guess whoever wins right they go at it for another like around 10 minutes jay is in a good position right now cody is down he's hurt you know he has to take advantage of the opportunity yeah it's a one-on-one -on -one match so yeah that makes sense but then jimmy uso comes in underneath the ring Shawn michael style and just starts physically abusing jay after leaving a huge statement just beating up jay uso there's no disqualifications in this match by the way so it's perfectly legal Jimmy Uso leaves and then Cody takes advantage of the opportunity and then he pins Jey Uso 1, 2, 3. Now Cody Rhodes is going on to face Roman Reigns for the world championship and now after Cody wins he helps Jey up but he's pissed. He's not pissed at Cody, he's pissed at Jimmy Uso. So now in the Raw after the elimination chamber, Jimmy has the message for Jey. Backstage he says to Jey, you think I'm just gonna let you get another chance at Roman? See, you've already gotten your chance. You tried three times and you obviously can't beat him. You tried at SummerSlam, you tried two other times before that, and look what happened. Superman punch, spear, distraction, one, two, three. Listen to me, Jay. I just saved you from an ass whooping. Jimmy laughs and walks out of the frame. The Raw after the Elimination Chamber, Jay Uso wasn't at Raw to respond to Jimmy. But next week, Jay Uso is out to respond to Jimmy. He comes out of the ring and lay out some facts. He says that every single thing that Jimmy said ain't true. Yeah, I might have not beaten Roman, but all I can think is why. See, there was a figure wearing all black at SummerSlam. Somehow, someone got to ringside during my match against Roman Reigns and pulled me out of the ring while I was going for the pin. And then, he also started, decided to super kick me and then abuse me and then make sure I didn't win the title. I was trying to figure out who it was. But then, of course... It was you. And now after all that, I don't know what makes you think that I can't beat Roman Reigns when I already did. But if you like bringing up the past, I'll bring up the past. Royal Rumble 2024, Jim Uso was Roman Reigns. What happened there? Even though Solo Sokoa turned on Roman Reigns and, and spiked him, Roman still got his ass up to game end you. Now that's embarrassing. Bringing up the past really sparked anger. And Jimmy and then Jimmy comes out to the ring to confront Jey Uso and this is the first time they're face to face since what happened at the elimination chamber Jimmy says to Jay, I think you know what I want 
I think you know what I want, so we need to make it happen right now. Jimmy Uso challenges Jay Uso to a match at WrestleMania, but Jay is still fighting the urges. He still has a little bit of guilt in it, in fighting his brother. So after hearing all that, Jay is still like he walks out, you know, or at least tries to. When Jimmy Uso sees Jay trying to walk out, he grabs him and stops him. He super kicks Jay Uso from behind and lands lays him flat. So far, Jay Uso hasn't really gotten much physical with Jimmy, but Jimmy has. That's gonna change soon. So the segment ends with Jey Uso laying on on the ring flat while Jimmy walks away with the ones up. With four weeks away from WrestleMania, Jey Uso comes down to the ring demanding Jimmy Uso to come out. Instead of Jimmy, Rikishi is the one to confront Jey Uso. He makes his way down to the ring while Jey Uso is kinda shocked. He picks up the microphone and he begins to talk about the issue between Jey and Jimmy. Rikishi says to Jey, you need to accept the challenge. I'm tired of seeing the same thing every week, my two sons fighting over the most ridiculous ridiculous reasons jimmy challenged you to a tribal combat match and you need to accept that the only way to put an end to this is in tribal combat as much as it pains me to say this but it's the only way when jimmy uso hears this he's happy he's ecstatic he comes out to the ring with a big ol' smile on his face because he thinks Rikishi is on his side. So he lines up Rikishi and says to Jay, yeah he's on my side. But then Rikishi stops him right there. See, I'm not on either one of your side. I don't condone any of your actions. But then he talks over to Jay and he says that the only humble thing that you can do right now is to have a tribal combat match at WrestleMania. So Rikishi asks Jay one more time. But Jay Uso grabs the mic from Rikishi and he says, Don't you think I want to do this? See, in the beginning, no. See, I resent myself very, very much from abusing you and taking you out. But after what you did to me last week and the week before that and the years before that, I don't care if April 6th is your last day on Earth. I accept. Jay Uso slams the mic on the floor and then leaves. But he blocks. But then Jimmy Uso is furious because now Jay just sent him a death threat. So, Jimmy tries to super kick him, but Jay blocks him, and then Jay lays Jimmy out flat. He knew he deserved it. So now Jimmy Uso is on the floor, with Jay Uso walking backstage now. So the next week, there's a contract signing to make the match official. Rakisi hosts a signing, and he says that he's going to be the special guest referee. He calls down the Uso to the ring. Jay comes out first. He immediately signs the contract. Alright, so when Jimmy arrives, he comes out and sits right away. He doesn't sign the contract right away. He stares at Jay, but Jay then questions Jimmy. Why isn't he signing the contract, he says. So Jimmy responds by saying, I needed to do this. Jay then answers, because he didn't want me to become the tribal chief. Or is it because I was the only one to pin Roman? Is your jealousy so high that all you do is bring up the past? Jimmy then brings up when he was in the hospital. Remember when Roman Reigns took me out? They beat both of us up. You were on SmackDown challenging Roman for his titles at SummerSlam while I was on the hospital bed. Lying, dying, trying to figure out what was going on. After, J after hearing this from Jimmy, Jay has like a guilty face on his look. He does feel bad for what he did because he left Jimmy Uso in the hospital. He didn't even visit him. He went straight for the title. So at this point, both Usos are, so at this point, both Usos are bringing up solid points and the crowd doesn't know who the good guy is anymore. They don't know who to cheer. After bringing up the pass for the 53rd time, Jimmy Uso then signs the contract. Rikishi states that now the contract is signed. There is no physical touch between both of you until WrestleMania. If they engage in contact, the match is off. The Usos now know what to do and they know what not to do because they both need this match to happen. So the next week is the second to last Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania. What happens is that Jimmy has a backstage message for Jay. He talks about his jealousy. He admits that the reason why he's fighting Jay is jealousy. He is jealous of everything. See, you were right. See, you were the right hand man. Roman always depended on you. Even when I was the older one, you still got all the attention. You're the one with the main event in your name. You come to Raw, everyone was happy. Everyone cheers for you. When I come to Raw, they told me to go back to SmackDown. Hell, not even SmackDown. They told me to go home. You took away opportunity after opportunity away from me. Every single goddamn one. When I beat you at WrestleMania, I'm gonna show the world who really is the main event Uso. And why Jey Uso is the biggest, biggest fraud of all time. And then that's how the promo. So later in that night, Jey Uso does the same thing. 
He goes to the same place where Jimmy was to record his message and makes one of his own for Jimmy. He says that he's not wrong for taking advantage of the opportunities that he earned. Jay makes it clear that everything given to him was not on a silver platter. I was the only one that realized I was the only one to realize that Roman was lying to us. I tried to save you and but you never listened. Remember money in the bank when we defeated Roman and Solo. That moment I knew that you were the most trustworthy person that I've ever met. And then a month later, you decided to do what you did. At that point, I don't even know how to feel anymore. You turning my back on me was the biggest mistake you could have done. And that's exactly what's gonna happen at WrestleMania. I'm gonna turn my back on you at WrestleMania under the brightest lights inside the grandest stage in Philly. I'm gonna humble you. And that's how it ends. The next week, nothing happens. So it is time to jump right into Wrestlemania. It's Wrestlemania 40, night one, match one, with everyone eager to see the final closing finale to this feud. Rikishi is already in the ring waiting for the Usos to arrive. And then Jay comes out to a massive, massive crowd reaction. He has the entire crowd in the palm of his hands. The Philly crowd are definitely on Jay's side. And then as soon as Jimmy comes out, it's not raining as much booze, but people still do not like him. The match is underway and then the stare down begins. This match has been hyped up for such a long time. The bell rings and Jimmy Uso low blows Jay Uso right from the beginning. Jimmy tries to grab a table and set it up in the corner, but Jay gets back up and takes Jimmy down. He hits a Samoan drop, Jay sees the table that Jimmy put up and throws it at him. When Jimmy gets back up, he slows down a little bit and then they casually like, actually like wrestle, wrestle for like 5 to 10 minutes. But then they go outside the ring, Jimmy has some serious plans. He sets a table up, but it didn't work. The table setup didn't work and he wanted to try it again. So Jimmy sets Jay on the flaming table and he successfully puts Jay Uso through a flaming table. Jimmy gets a bunch of other weapons from the ring. He has a kendo stick in his hands. He lays Jey Uso down and just starts beating him with the kendo stick. Jey Uso is beat the fuck up with the kendo stick. Throughout the entire match, Rikishi rethinks his decision of persuading Jey Uso to agree to this match because both of his sons are punishing each other like crazy. Jey Uso somehow manages to reverse one of the kendo stick attacks and that was the only window of opportunity he had to get back up so when jay uso gets back up he starts bashing jimmy with a chair now jimmy but then jay's offense doesn't last too long now both usos are laying on the floor jay tries to crawl his way back up to the top rope to do go for an uso splash while jimmy gets up and throws jay at the floor so now jimmy goes to the top and does the uso splash he goes for the pin one two no it's gonna take more than a splash to end this. So more kendo, so Jimmy gets some more kendo stick and he beats Jey Uso up. Jimmy is genuinely shocked that he kicked out of the Uso splash and that he go. And Jimmy then tries to go up on top one more time, but this time Jey Uso reverses. Jay takes advantage of the opportunity. He hits another. He hits his first Uso splash on Jimmy. The back and forth is crazy. No one is throwing jabs at each other. Things are getting intense. It's a straight out brawl. It's been 25 minutes of pure drama and madness. Super kick after super kick. Jey Uso hits Jimmy with a super kick. And then another and then it just keeps going on. Jey Uso now gets the crowd's attention. And he goes up for one final Uso splash on Jimmy. After almost half an hour of pure suffering. Jey Uso pins Jimmy. The match ends with Jey Uso getting his hand raised by Rikishi. But the surprising thing after the match is that Jey Uso picks Jimmy up and he raises his hand as if he won. This th this might mean that Jey Uso forgives Jimmy for what he's done. And well, that's all. That and that, well, yeah, that's it. So this is how I would have um booked Jay versus Jimmy at WrestleMania. Um, I know it's a bit too early to be doing this, but I've got plenty of more fantasy booking videos. I have 14 more after this video 14 more get ready they said even the longest one but this is a good one so i hope you guys enjoyed the episode um the next one will be uh kevin Owens and sammy Zayn as the tag team champions versus diy i get it they're not the, the tag I, I, I guys i made this script before they were before they lost the titles that's how long ago i i wrote the script so um deal with it um yeah i'll see you guys later subscribe Leave a comment what you guys thought and all that. So yeah, peace out.